Marhaba friends, Google Chromeplex has a virtual machine on QEMU running on Linux. So I'm using the latest version of the QEMU emulator and if I fire up my script, we see the QEMU window with Chromeplex loading, yes. And we are going to run it as a virtual machine. That means we are going to install it to a QCOW2 disk. This is the first load up and I'm loading up from the USB. So yes, we have the welcome screen. And if I make this full screen, then yes, see, it looks good on my 1920 by 1080 monitor. All right, so let's get started. And this time I'm going to install Chrome Flex. So I'm going to say, yes, please install Chrome Flex for me after so many days of R&D, research and development. Okay, it says, give me, give me a warning that will be in, erase my entire hard drive. Looks good, that's what I'm here for. And it says the installation will take up to 20 minutes. And yes, installation is complete. And my device will restart in 59 or one, one minute. So hang on guys, I mean, we are restarting. So once this is done, Yes, it will auto shut down and display output is not active. So I'm going to hit the control C button. No, I didn't have to hit it. So you see my USB on the right. I booted it off USB and now I'm going to fire it up from my disk. Okay, so yes, you see, wow. All right, Chromeplex logo is there and now that it starts up, the, we are going to start Chromeplex. So let's get started. And you see the version that I'm using 102 uh, at the time of this recording, this was the latest version. So no continue without Chromeplex and we have internet to ethernet connected. Yes. All right. So let's get started. All right. Next screen. Uh, terms of service. Okay. Uncheck optional accept and continue checking for updates. Who's going to use it? I'm going to use it. So, and you can browse as guest and enterprise. So I'm going to enter my email. My email is Hikmati Ustad. All right, and hit enter. And next screen is what it's going to be. Okay, enter my password. And please wait. And so we waited for some time and sync your device. No thanks. I don't want to sync right now, so no thanks. And loading Google Assistant. Looks good, looks good, looks good as of now. Okay. Uh, Google is ready to help, but no, no thanks. So pretty good. And it correctly detected my phone. Um, I don't want to sync my phone, so no thanks. All right, and you're all set. Get started. So yes, we are booting Chromeflex as a virtual machine on QMU on Linux. Isn't this exciting, guys? I mean, yes, full screen and we see, okay, it flickered a little, uh, but we have full screen, I mean, and you guys can use Chrome X. See, I hit and uh, the Windows key and my <laughs> the Linux menu is coming up. So I'm just to prove a point. I mean, uh, you guys, you may be thinking, okay, this guy is still running off the USB, but no. Just to prove the point, I'm going to shut it down. And next time when I boot it up, it should show my login screen, right? Because running it off the USB, it won't show my login screen, right? So firing it up again and hard disk is there, Chromeplex. Next up, what do we have? Display output is not active. Okay, no, fine. You see there, that's my screen there. See my logo, my Hikmatu star logo. So enter my password and booting it off from my disk. So using it as a VM. Okay, night light on. <laughs> I'm going to turn it off because I don't know, it doesn't look good, but Pretty good. I mean, it detected my hardware too, so it can turn and light, turn off light on and light on. I'm just going to show you some things. See, I'm still on my Linux machine, and I'm just going to show you some things like my network works and everything. So it's a fully functional machine. The the shelf is a little, and the start menu is a little uh, flickering. So YouTube loads up. So we have network. This is my YouTube, and I'm going to change the wallpaper too. So yes, I changed the wallpaper and that's about it guys. So thank you so much for your time. Take care and see you next time. Bye bye.